All right, let's move on to the Baltimore Ravens. They've had one heck of an offseason so far, at least the past week. Of course, it's a Flowers great addition, locking down Lamar Jackson. A lot of good mojo with the Baltimore Ravens, and that continues in the third round of the 2023 NFL Draft. They have selected Trenton Simpson, the inside linebacker from Clemson. Look, this is a kid right away is one of these classic guys who was a great football player. Did a lot of really good things at Clemson. Is an amazing talent because he just didn't measure all the right measurables, didn't run the right 40, didn't have the height, weight, all this kind of stupid stuff. He falls from what a lot of people thought. A lot of people think he's a round one, round two guy. The Ravens pick him up late in the third round. Miles, I think this is one of the better moves we've seen so far in the NFL draft. I think this will be a huge steal. If we look back a few years now, getting a guy of Simpsons caliber here in the third round, I want your thoughts on this, Miles. But before I hand it over to you, Baltimore fans, look, you've had a great few days. This, I think this will just add to it. Let me know what you think of this selection, the third round pick of this linebacker, Simpson, out of Clemson. But, Miles, what do you got? What do you think of this pick? Yeah, Nick, for how rough the early part of the offseason was for the Baltimore Ravens, things are really starting to roll now. The addition of Odell Beckham, the addition of the Lamar Jackson contract, Zay Flowers, and now Trenton Simpson, a very interesting prospect out of Clemson. This is a guy who is a very high-end athlete, even on the field when he is playing. He has been able to play all over the field. He's actually even played a slot corner type position for Clemson in the 2021 season. So he can cover guys. He's great in coverage. He is a good blitzer. He is not afraid of hits, Nick. This guy has got a little bit of size on him. He's 6'2", 235, maybe a little bit slight, put a little bit more weight on his frame. But this guy's very, very athletic, very fluid hips. He is uh, just a really great athlete, I think. And like you said, for whatever reason, maybe he didn't hit the right boxes in the combine. He didn't, you know, get the right measurables. But he's a very, very good player. And I think, Nick, this goes into the rumor of the potential moving off of or planning for either a trade or moving on from Patrick Queen in the future. Uh, Ravens fans know that that topic has been on the table and whether they do that or not isn't the case uh here what i'm trying to get at though is that trenton simpson either could a learn from a guy like patrick queen learn from roquan smith and be a really good upgrade there to the other weak side of the linebacker position or he could replace patrick queen if needed as well so i think it's a really smart move thinking for the future or whatever that may be yeah, my son, and I had to go double check this. He's actually scored incredibly well at the combine. He's 6'2", 230, ran a 4'4", 40, was an all-ACC linebacker at Clemson. So great football player, great measurables, comes with a great background. His dad was an Army Ranger, I believe, served like 17 years in the Rangers. So he has a great family, great pedigree, played under Dabo Sweeney and Clemson, great program, great competition. Check, 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 just checks every box. For some reason, this guy fell to the Ravens here in the third round, and great job by the Costa and company jumping on this guy. I think he's going to be a heck of a player. Thank you.